Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits today, joined by Tobias, maker of macros. Yes, and today we're checking out another beer from Beer Dome. We got this one a while back. It's been sitting in the cellar for a bit, but we're finally cracking it. It's from Modern Times. I just got it because it was a Modern Times stout. Uh, I didn't really look up ratings or anything, but I do really like Modern Times stouts usually, but this mm -hmm. is more pastry, and I've been kind of off pastry for a while, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what we think. But this is uh, Modern Times Pharaoh Ascendant, the oatmeal cookie edition. God damn. There's a regular version, and then there is this. And this is a 12.5% imperial stout with vanilla, toasted oats, cinnamon, brown sugar, and amburana bark. And amburana is this uh, Brazilian wood that, uh, you know, produces that slightly cinnamony, spicy flavor. Sounds like a pretty nice combination, I would say. Yeah, I think the last beer I had like this was the one, Cigar City also at one point did an oatmeal raisin cookie stout and called Raisin with a few brews. Angry Chair or something? And Little yeah. Debbie, I think it was called? I don't know. I didn't have it. No. Oh. But I mean, what I'm thinking here is that each of these ingredients on their own would go in a stout without it being pastry. Yeah, yeah. So, but maybe it's a combination of them that makes it pastry. We'll see, or maybe it's because it's crazy sweet as well. Yeah. <laughs> Pour is a nice color. It's black. It's not. It didn't pour like crazy thick, but it no. pours like you know, blackish color, uh, nice black color. Twelve and a half percent. Yeah. It's not a lot of head. Slightly see through on the edges of the glass. Yeah, and a little bit of a bubbly tan head. Yeah. Hey, let's check out the aroma. It smells very cookie like. Oh yeah. Um, it it's smells like, like chocolate cookies. Yeah. It smells like a beer I should have drunk. Maybe six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> like these beers fall apart so quickly in the bottle. Yeah. I'm also They're getting not like meant a, for aging. Like a um, vanilla biscuit. Yeah, and just like loads of pure fresh vanilla bean. Yeah. But it smells to the sweeter side. Yeah. And yeah, there's actually the more I smell it, the more I get vanilla and vanilla frosting as esque notes and yeah. actually just like brown sugar. And maybe I'm also getting It like smells like it's gonna be a bit fizzy. Yeah. It does. Unfortunately. I'm getting? also getting a, a, like like a slight hint of some bark. Yeah, just like a dry woodiness, yeah. and it's like spicy. So it's, you know, it's probably the ambuana giving that like dry, spicy, woody thing. Uh, I don't know about like raisins or whatever. And then I'm also they didn't thinking put in raisins, but maybe there's a bit of dark fruit. Yeah, chocolate. And I'm also thinking oat milk. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay. Now let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to Beardome for the beer. Mm. Wow, it's sugary. Oh, it's way. <laughs> oh, that is very, very sweet. It's good that we're sharing this five people. Man, it lacks mouthfeel too. Damn, yeah, it's very thin. It's like just like it's almost like drinking straight maple, like syrup, sugar syrup. Yeah. Or maple syrup. Maple syrup isn't really thick. It's not the same flavor, but. Or raisin juice. Yeah, prune juice or something. Prune juice, yeah. And this is something that's, I think it should have been drunk a while ago. It's totally not on par with other beers. I don't think it's, from, from modern times, I don't think it's terrible. No. And I don't think it's too fake tasting, which is my big beef yeah. with pastry yeah. stuff. It's just like really sweet imperial stuff. Um, lots of vanilla and cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon especially in the aftertaste to me. Up front there's a boatload of vanilla. Like this really nice, yeah, just like almost like vanilla frosting and, and almost like the, like the just like dark fruity vibes of vanilla bean. Yeah, to me, there is, my, my girlfriend drinks a lot of these vegan milks or vegan drinks and there is one especially which is made from almonds and then with uh, sugar and vanilla added. Yeah. That's, I mean, it, it's it's so reminiscent of this one. I can see, uh, you know, that I've, I've had some oat milk and I've also had a bit of almond milk, just unsweetened. And I see the vibes. Maybe they put in oat milk. That's a, I know that's very trendy to do in the brewing world nowadays, and it actually produces some good flavor and, and some sweetness. Um, slightly fizzy, dry on the aftertaste, like lots of dry, cinnamony, woody flavor, and like, like, like woodsy bark, and a spicy think, bark. I think the dryness is, is really good for the beer because yeah. it actually it it makes you want to drink and take a sip more. Yeah, I think it's it's decent. The biggest the beef is just like. Mouth it's feel. too, uh, yeah, it's it's too thin, it's too sweet, it's like really sugary, uh, but the flavors are otherwise quite nice. But the thing is also a lot of it is our fault because I had this bottle for way too long. Uh, I don't know when they released this. The problem is there isn't really uh, a date on here as far as I can see, but it's been out for quite a while. It's been in Europe, it's sat on web shops 
for a long time. Uh, yeah, it's decent. It's all right. Would I go on a way to get it? No. Would I crack it again? Maybe a fresh bottle? Yeah. Uh, don't age your pastry stouts or pastry-esque stouts. Uh, because it's, yeah, it just falls a bit apart. It falls a bit flat. That's a lesson we learned. <laughs> yeah, a bit dark fruity uh, as well, maybe. But yeah, which is nice. I like that. That's like, the I guess, the raisin component. But I'll go yeah. like an 88. Like, it's a, it's a decent beer. Uh, 375 on untapped for me. It's kind of like the same level as I enjoyed the sours we just had. Yeah, yeah I, I completely agree. Um, I was thinking 87 and... Because it, it has some good components with the with the dryness, with the vanilla and, and all that, mm -hmm. but a bit more mouthfeel and then it would have been good. Yeah, it's just lacking the heft that they have in other uh, modern time spheres. Uh, but hey, you can't win every single time. But it was fun. So finally cracked it. Glad we did. We got more stuff to crack. Uh, we got a lot. It's going to be a fun, fun night. So if you guys had a chance to try the Modern Times Pharaoh Ascended Oatmeal Cookie Edition, let us know what you thought of it. Fun beer. Trade for it? Nah. If you have it, drink it right now. Donate it any longer. <laughs> Thanks a ton to Beardom for the beer as well. Again, they have a great selection. They got a lot of stuff. If you are into the modern scene with all the smoothie sours, they just got Mortalis. So, pop on over there. They're probably sold out by now, I'd imagine, because yeah. very high brewery. Yeah. But, um, yeah, fun stuff. Thanks a ton to Beer Room for the beer. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer video.